Hey everybody, it's Comp Help here. Thank you for watching this video in which I will show you how to add a watermark in a video using Sony Vegas. I'm going to show you three different watermarks. A text watermark, an image, and a moving watermark if you have a sequence of images. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. First off, the sequence is something like this. I made this in 3ds Max where, uh, you know, it's, it's the, my logo spinning pretty much. Okay, and if you guys need a tutorial on that, uh, maybe sometime in the future, just let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into Sony Vegas here. You might have something that looks like this. Uh, what we need to do is right here, this is like our uh, our clip bin sort of, and I'm just going to drag all of my files into uh, into this part. Okay, so here's my video, my text watermark, and my image watermark. Drag those in. Great. And what I also have to do is add my sequence of images. And to do that, I'm going to go to File, Import, Media, go to my desktop. Uh, where is it at? Moving watermark, select frame 1 or 0 in this case. Open still image sequence and click Open. And then OK. All right, so now we have our sequence. We have our logo and our watermark text. Let me go ahead and open this in a full screen for you now. All right, so I don't really need this right here. What I really need is my video preview. Great. And all right, so let's go ahead and get started really quick. So you might want to open up your video. Okay, this is the my vlog video, one of my recent vlog videos. I'm just going to lower the volume for you guys. Okay, and it's just me talking about my day, yada, yada. Great. Um, okay, so if we play the video, you'll see that it's just me talking, going on random whatever. My hair's not done, nothing. I made the video at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Anyways, what we need to do here is actually remember the whole paper thing where this top paper slice, I guess you could say, this top sheet of paper is going to dominate over the whole video. So what I need to do is actually move this a little bit down. This way, whatever's on top will show up over this original video. A little confusing maybe at first, but let me go ahead and explain. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the watermark text first off uh, into this slot. Make sure this is a video slot. This is the video slot. Okay, because there are two different slots right here. There's a video and audio. And you see their settings are different here. Anyways, so you see we have our image, and you can see in the preview, the image is pretty huge. Okay, that is my watermark that I use in my tutorials that you'll probably see in this video. Now, if I play this, you'll see that it's all of a sudden going to disappear because in the timeline, it's not that long, and it's gone. Okay. So, Jerry, that's pretty basic. Well, what do I do from here? Well, what we need to do is go ahead and grab, like, the edge of this image and extend it to the end of the video. So let's go ahead and grab the edge of it, bring it to the end of the video, and there we go. Now, see that watermark last till for the whole video, okay? That, that image, actually. All right, so it's pretty huge. What can I do with this? All right, we're going to go over here and go over to the Track Motion button. Click it. Great. Now we're going to size this down some to look at look at the image preview over here, the video preview. You want to get the size that you like, okay? And just move this down. I think I like it about right there. Great. Now I can exit out of this window, and let's see. All right, that looks pretty cool so far. Now what I actually like to do is I like to bring down the opacity of this layer. This way you can kind of see through it, and it's not extremely distracting. So let's go ahead and bring this level, this little bar down right here. And you can see if I bring it all the way down to 0%, the text is gone. That watermark is gone. If I bring it to, let's say, 50%, whatever, it's halfway there, halfway not there. I like to bring it to about 20%-ish, uh, maybe a little bit higher, maybe 25%. That way it's not too distracting, yet it's there and it brands my video. Okay, so pretty much that's how you add a watermark to a video. Then you just go ahead and render the video by file, ren uh, render as, and yada yada. Now let me give you a few more examples. Let's go ahead and delete this little thing there. Great, let's add the logo.png. Uh, this is just an image. Okay, instead, see how it's an image now? Let me go ahead and bring the opacity up. It's my logo. Um, let's go ahead and drag this all the way across like I did with the other image. Great, and let's go ahead and go to the track motion window okay all right we can even drag it in where oh, where'd it go there we go see if we can even drag it in here doesn't really matter and just whoop, just like that see and just kind of position it where we want it how big do you want the logo and it's all up to you how distracting you want the logo to be or how obvious you want it to be okay so mm, 
maybe what right there i'm just i'm just messing around here i don't know now I bring the opacity down and check it out now that plays it's right there on the video and it's watermarked okay cool there's me doing some funky stuff in my vlog video but all right uh that's great jerry now uh let's say i want to do my moving logo i have an image sequence now i want to do this bad boy <laughs> that sounded funny anyways i'm just going to drag this in okay and you can see let me go and bring the opacity up what i did with this is i actually gave it a green background so i can kind of chroma key it out okay now this is a little bit more advanced but uh, i think you guys can handle this i don't know let's go and drag this out I'm just going to extend it all the way here we go so it ends at the video and if i play this you can see my logo is actually spinning okay yeah it's spinning but the problem is we have this green thing there let's go over to the options for this video right here track effects great and we're gonna look for chroma keyer sony chroma keyer uh, double click it and click ok alright so where are my settings at here they are my chroma key settings um, what I wanna do is make sure I can see both the chroma key settings and my video preview and next what I want to do is go over to this what pick color from screen icon there the image sampler or whatever click that and sample to green and there you go the green goes away okay really cool right really really cool now if we play it see how it's only the logo there that's pretty sweet and kind of see through it too it's pretty cool can image threshold to uh I don't know if you like that I don't know bring the image threshold all the way down you see see the high threshold you know just bring it to the point where uh it's solid and it's just your logo okay just really what what you like all right so then we just go to track motion again Let's see if I can bring this here and just resize it down I don't know just gonna mess around here again okay now if I play the video now look now I have a moving watermark in my video pretty cool huh I can also bring the opacity down on this see that I think that's pretty cool look at that I like that a lot okay so remember though you do need an image sequence for this uh, I don't know if that was a little too advanced for you guys I haven't showed you image sequencing I haven't showed you anything in uh, 3ds max or 3d studio max at all but uh, who knows maybe that's a future tutorial that you guys are interested in let me know um, be more than happy to show you guys all right coolio cool cool um yep that's pretty much adding a watermark to your videos i really hope you enjoyed this video uh yeah please comment thumbs up comment and subscribe i know this video is kind of basic that's why i kind of just threw in the moving watermark for you guys who want to do something a little bit more with uh, this technique sorry if this video kind of turned out too long i am a very long i, I like to talk and ramble on all right, so the video is pretty much over. Please, uh, again, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And please check out these links. Check me out on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter by going to twitter.com slash comp help. Um, check out my vlog channel at youtube.com slash vv phone vv. Check out my gaming channel where I play video games at youtube.com slash jerry games. Heck, why not? Check out my animation channel where you can see my progress as I try to uh, get better in in, in, in 3D as Max, 3D Studio Max, by going to youtube.com slash vvanimator vv. And also check out how I make some extra money online and how you can make some extra money online by going to cashcrate.biz. I'm going to stop talking now, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.